Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angus and today we are going to watch the seventh episode of the third season of Dark. So, Dark. And we are back with Dark here on this channel and we are in the final stretch of Dark the show. This is going to be the seventh episode. We only have two episodes left this and then the eighth episode the season finale the show finale and uh, yeah things are as tense as possible adam even announced the end last episode but yeah we have two episodes left so i guess that's not the end um yeah he tries to kill the sun the source the origin inside of a Marta from the parallel dimension with the wormhole that combines both apocalypses um, because he can't be killed, the sun can't be killed with normal means. It needs the power of both worlds to kill him and the power of the two apocalypses. And yeah, obviously this is in Adam's mind the way to go and if the sun dies, the origin, everything around it dies. The whole family tree is going to be almost completely wiped out because yeah, we already went over all of it, you know, without him. There's no Tronte, without Tronte, no Ulrich, no Martha, no Mikkel, no Jonas in both worlds and so on and so on. And obviously that sounds pretty reasonable, but I guess it won't work as he expects it to work because we have two episodes left and Marta from the other dimension, Eva, she said it, he doesn't understand how the game is played. The same thing that we heard from Claudia, the same thing that we heard from Ada himself. And with these words she sent her people away, she sent Egon away, her slightly younger self, old Bartosz um, and then Noah twice because they all have jobs to do. Egon needs to save Hannah who was about to give birth during the apocalypse so he probably needs to save her because as Eva said to um, preserve the family tree and which is obviously yeah very important because if the child of Hannah is the same as in the other family tree then this is going to be the mother of Noah and Agnes and then we are again at the point of you know Agnes and the son having Tronte and so on so on. So yeah that is what they did and this means probably that they are all going to survive and that this is not going to work what Adam is trying there. So um, yeah the big question obviously is where are we going exactly? What is the ending? What is the ending going to be? Who is going to uh, prevail is it going to be the light side the fate side of it all or is Adam going to prevail and everything is going to end or maybe both sides are wrong and something completely different will happen this is I don't know I have really no idea where we are going my guess right now would be that everything is going to repeat over and over and over and nothing really can be changed in all of this this would be the logical consequence of everything but as I said, Dark is going to throw curveballs here and yeah, everything is possible and yeah, as I said, I don't think Adam will succeed obviously because we have some unfinished business to do also in the mirror world with Ulrich following Helge there and probably also to see how Marta survived all of this torment and became Eva eventually and so on and so on. So uh, yeah, still a lot of to think about still a lot to go and uh, I am very very excited to get into this episode and therefore I would say let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right into the episode. Have fun. Oder existieren mehrere Realitäten nebeneinander. Okay, who is talking Erwin here? Erwin Schrödinger hat für diese Frage ein überaus interessantes Gedankenexperiment konstruiert. Oh no, please not, Schrödinger's, Schrödinger's Katze. Katze. Ah, please not. <lacht> Aber aufgrund des Wellencharakters oh, der Quantenwelt. Oh, ah, Hagi Tannhaus, slightly older. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, okay, gut. Eigenschaften tot und lebendig uh -huh. existieren im Mikrokosmos also gleichzeitig. Okay. So, Martha is now also dead and alive because we don't know. Könnte es uns gelingen, die Zeit zu spalten und sie in zwei unterschiedliche gegensätzliche Richtungen laufen zu lassen? Und uh -huh. damit die Katze 
in einen gleichzeitigen Zustand von Tod und lebendig zu bringen? Ähm, um, ja, yeah, maybe. Martha. Good question. Oh, ha. Warte. Bartosch? Du darfst da nicht rein. Okay. Crazy. Okay, Bartosch now. Okay, now this won't happen. Oh. So is this now the, the other time? So this is now the time where Adam exists, basically. Or is that now also divided by two, so we have four realities? Or three? I'm not quite sure. Okay. But no, yeah, this is, this is the one that, uh, that we saw, where Jonas eventually yeah, became older Jonas and all of the stuff we know. So, if that really is this other one, the other reality, then, yeah, obviously, this is also a plan by Eva, so Adam can exist. At least this is what, um, yeah, my interpretation of all of this. Because this is the Bartosz that was saved by older Bartosz. So, um, yeah, we have to thank, uh, or Adam has to thank Eva for that probably that he even exists but was it's very interesting to see um slightly older Hage Tannhaus here i was first at first i was completely dumbfounded who is talking there i mean oh but oh this episode's name is between the time and now we see 1974 this is something yeah we never saw before really this between stuff we always had our 33 years Right? Sollte es dann nicht auch möglich sein, etwas zurückzuholen, was längst tot geglaubt ist? Mm -hmm. yeah. Und eine neue Realität zu erschaffen, in der Todes widerlebt? Um, yeah, you can do that, but then this is not your reality, I'd say. Alright. But does Hage Tannhaus have more to do with this than we ex it maybe das paradies ist frei von schmerz und leid mm -hmm. jeder schmerz den wir empfunden haben ausgelöscht alle toten leben yeah not really only if paradise for you is um heaven and everyone is dead you know because adam wants that but not even that he want, doesn't want people dead he wants things to um he wants uh, things to not exist even, so, yeah. Ah, huh. I don't know. But yeah, that is probably why Elisabeth is so hell-bent on this later on. Of course, for someone like her, this must sound like, yeah, paradise, really. A child that f uh, lost its whole family. Seit Ewigkeiten versprichst du uns, dass es einen Weg hier raus gibt. Dass wir die Two. Apokalypse verhindern können. Two years, Bartosz. That's not for eternity. Wann erzählst du uns endlich die Wahrheit? Du willst doch gar nicht mehr zurück. Du willst die Apokalypse überhaupt nicht verhindern. Well, back then he maybe wanted it, but... Probably not. I mean, 31 years. Und wenn wir ihn gefunden haben, dann werden wir ihn vernichten. Und alles, was daraus entsteht. Mhm. Mm das ist das Paradies. Aha, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, he already believed that back then, yeah. Ich will den verficktes Paradies nicht. Don't worry about it. You won't see it. His paradise. You will stay there until 1921 and then you will get killed by your own son. Thumbs up. It is... Complicated. Ooh, Celia. There you are. In 1890. Okay. And so that is how... She and Bartosz, yeah, she will meet Bartosz and... Alright, okay. But that's very interesting that we are really between the times now. That we are switching free from all the shackles of 33 year traveling. And that makes a lot of sense because we need to know what happened in between really. Makes it easier for us to understand this, how everything is connected. Du darfst die Hoffnung nicht verlieren. Hope, it's the hope that kills. 
That's the problem here. Hope made him or made people do stupid decisions that make things worse in all of this. Oh, yeah. Where his father hanged himself. Mikkel. Michael. Oh, Jonas, come on. You already have that mark on your neck. You want a second one? <laughs> or a heavier one? Okay, who's going to save him? Or is the rope going to break? Hmm. Noah! Okay. Noah, you asshole! I don't want that. Du hast mir was versprochen. Adam hat mir was versprochen. Yeah, but that is not Adam. Du hast yeah. gesagt, dass die Apokalypse passieren muss. Damit wir gerettet werden. Well, yeah, it's bullshit, basically. <laughs> it is bullshit. Lying. Lying, lying, lying. Du kannst nicht sterben. Ah, well, that is unfortunately true. But du kannst dir nicht das Leben nehmen. But why? Why did Noah not remember this? You know? Did he not know or did he forgot that um, this is not the final form of Adam that he tried to shoot? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it is a nice thing, but we know that they all waited for this until 2052 and 53, and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you think, despite all of this, that you know that he will betray you, you think this, that he will keep his promise? You think he did not lie? Ah, well. I don't know. Okay. Noah! There you are. Okay, I guess, yeah, Noah is the older brother here. Um, what's his name? Hanno. Hanno Tauber. Hanno. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bartosz. <laughs> The penny drops, I guess. Hmm. Und trotzdem werden wir immer glauben, dass es einen Weg gibt, das Blatt zu unseren Gunsten zu wenden. Yeah, the hope. Wenn wir nur fest genug wollen. It's the hope that kills. But here we have Mr. Tannhaus again. What did you build there? But I mean, they really did a great job again with the casting here. He really looks like his older self already. <laughs> I mean, appreciate the effort he put in. This is uh, extremely crazy. But is this maybe the leftovers that were used by, by Noah and Helge for, for their stuff? Hmm. Oh, 2040, and now Noah, Jonas, and Claudia are there, okay. Yeah, <laughs> all of them, of course, older. Vielleicht will Claudia gar nicht, dass es funktioniert. Ah. Warum vertraust du ihr überhaupt? Warum hast du ihm vertraut? Adam. Exactly, because of the hope. You said it. You told him that. Ich weiß, du denkst, ich werde zu ihm. Aber das werde ich nicht. Ah, das no. Portal wird funktionieren. Ich hab's gesehen. In der Zukunft. Alles ah, wird sich. Ja, yeah. exactly. Everything repeats itself and you are going to become Adam, no matter what. Aber dieses Mal ist alles anders. Of course, this time everything is different. Ja. Yeah. Huh? Claudia verheimlicht uns etwas. Wir können ihr nicht trauen. Ja, yeah, of course. It's true, of course, yeah. But you can't trust Adam either. Or Eva. Or really anyone who says that they know everything. And know how things work. And know how things... 
are going to change. Ich erinnere mich noch genau, was sie gesagt hat. Wenn alles gelingt, dann wird Regina leben. Mhm. Mm yeah, we saw how that went. Tronte killed her. Oh. Es muss einen Weg geben, den Knoten zu lösen. That is Ohne interesting. Alles Leben darin zu zerstören. Is she going to kill her and take her machine? Ich glaube, weder Eva noch Adam kennen diesen Weg. Ah. Ich werde ihn finden. Okay. Oder deiner Welt. Nicht. Okay, so Claudia is really the third party here. Adam, Eva, and is she the snake, the devil? I mean, she's a white devil. So is maybe she the one who fucks everything up, all the plans of the other people? Huh. Well, she's making uh, her own case here. She decided that she does not want to listen to what other people have to say, yeah? It took her some time, but yeah. Crazy, crazy. I thought maybe the other Claudia would do something, but uh, this is very unexpected here. Okay, so she's now acting as her world's Claudia, and she's playing both sides now. Day. Maybe she's playing both sides. Maybe Eva knows that, but mm, I don't know. Mm, we know that nobody is um, all knowing in all of this. Sie versteht, warum es notwendig ist. Of course. Alles wieder so passieren muss. Yeah, she understood very well. She did take it all very well here. Okay. So, what exactly did she do? Did she do everything just slightly different, you know? But because she gave it to Tunhouse. But I guess she did it not entirely, you know, all the way. Auch für deinen Vater. Oh. So, that is Celia dead. Oh, she died while giving birth to Agnes. Or is it Agnes? Or did she or did the baby not survive? Wir haben alles versucht, Bartosz. The one reason probably that he Sie wollte, dass sie Agnes heißt. All right, okay. So it was Agnes, the baby. Mhm. Mm yeah. She gave birth to the reason why everything exists. One of the two big reasons why everything exists. Okay. Well, I mean, this really is a very, very good episode to understand how everything is really connected and um, to clear up all the details here. Apart from the one thing with the Tannhaus, we don't know exactly what he, um, what he really did with um, his stuff there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there they are. Oh, and they are taking the baby away. Yeah, they are taking the baby away to Tannhaus. Ah, yes. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it really was Charlotte and it was Elisabeth. <laughs> Crazy. Charlotte is stealing herself. <laughs> and Elisabeth stealing her own baby. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're already gone. Hmm. Well, this is a very bitter thing. Ich habe mich all die Jahre gefragt, was er damit gemeint hat. Dass wir Freunde werden, bevor du mich verrätst. Und Claudia hat sie Charlotte. Hast du ihr geholfen? Ich no. weiß nicht, wovon du sprichst. <lacht> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with uh, an angry father, really. But we know that he can't die. Ich wünsche dir alles Leid der Welt. Yeah, we get it. He will get it. He already got a lot of it. But once again, here, and um, the same with Bartosz in the other thing. Why did he? Keep on doing this, you know, for Adam. You know, killing all those children and stuff. After this, <laughs> still a lot of connections that are unclear. <laughs> okay, great. Now, baby gone, husband gone, cool, all in one night. So yeah, Elizabeth lost everyone in her life. 
everyone. Nice, cool. All die Wege, die wir in unserem Leben einschlagen, jede Entscheidung, die wir treffen, wird geleitet von dem, was wir tief im Inneren verlangen. That is an impressive uh, machine you have there. What does it do exactly? Wir kommen gegen dieses Wollen nicht an. Obviously not, no. If uh, there's anything that this show told us or teached us, it's that. Holy shit! Okay, but what did it do? And did he travel through time? Hannah. Oh, Hannah! Holy shit, and that is how... Oh. Ah. And that is how she ended up... No. So she ended up there, but how did she end up in the future then? The fuck? Oh yeah, 10 years. 1921, the thing works, the god particle, and then she, she goes to the future. She was sent to the future. Okay, but that is interesting. And meeting between Hannah and Jonas, Adam, after everything he had gone through, and they've gone through. Das ist meine Tochter, Silja. Ah, Egon's daughter. Sie ist deine Schwester. All right, fuck, yes. Almost forgot that. Yeah, she really is. Damn. But yeah, uh, he's already at that point where he doesn't care anymore. Doesn't feel anything. Vor ein paar Tagen, da war diese alte Frau. Sie stand einfach vor unserer Tür. Claudia, Claudia, you Eva. old devil. No, Eva. Okay, damn it. Es ist alles meine Schuld. Ich habe alles kaputt gemacht. Ah, no, not in the long run. Not in the long run. Partially, yes, but... Uh. But yeah, where... Did Hannah go? I mean, she wasn't there in... Th uh, 1921. And we did not see her later on. But okay, but Eva sent them to him. So that Celia... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that Celia could be sent to the future and all of this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that makes sense because we've heard it, Eva. Ah, the tears. There are still some feelings left, Jonas. Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, Eva. That Eva controls fate or wants fate to be like it has to be eventually, you know. Or maybe another theory is he going to send Celia to the future and bring her to uh, to Elizabeth. So you know we stole your child. Here you have another child. That would also explain why Elizabeth and Celia are like this in the future, mostly. Oh, so many questions still. So many possibilities. Celia, sie gehört nicht hierher. She has to be in the future, so that she can come back to the past. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh no! Ah, okay, that is why she's not there in the future. Yeah, I guess that's another part in uh, Jonas' descent. Yeah, killing your own mother, isn't that great? Uh, great. I guess there's also a part in Greek mythology that covers that. <laughs> of course. Come with me. I'm going to show you big secrets. Beautiful sweets. Come into the back of my van. Ah, uh, yeah, trust the strange man who looks like Freddy Krueger without a head. Uh. Okay, so that was Hannah's end. I mean, yeah, she was an unlikable character, definitely, but it's still a very tragic thing. 
Oh, there you are, Noah. Okay. And that is, yeah, that is the time he operated from, basically. A little bit later. But overall, yeah, that's it. Ich bin weit gereist. Ich brauche einen Platz zum Schlafen. Mhm, mm yeah. Anno? Oh, and that is the one, yeah. That is the one guy he uh, he told himself about. You know, this one guy um, who talked to himself in his sleep and all this. And one night he was clear and all of this. You know, he just understood it when the pain came to him and all of this. Oh, yeah, things are coming together quite nicely. You know, I thought it was uh, it was Jonas. But I guess it was, yeah, it was himself, really. Hmm. It is crazy, crazy stuff. Ich weiß, du glaubst, ich habe dich belogen. And he did. Dass ich dir Charlotte genommen habe. Aber yeah. das habe ich nicht. You have, only in your future. Claudia. Hmm. Sie hat uns alle belogen. Certainly, yes. Everybody lied to everybody here. Question is who started it all? Die letzten Seiten, sie fehlen. Du musst sie finden. Sie werden dich zu Charlotte führen und endlich auch an dein Ziel. Mhm, mm ja. Yeah. To his destiny, his death. Okay, and that is how his um, work for Adam started. Killing children. Du musst dein jüngeres Ich auf den gleichen Weg führen. Er darf nicht anders handeln. Mhm. Du musst die Weichen stellen, egal wie schwer es dir scheint. Aber du wirst endlich alles ändern können. Okay, and that is what she told Jonas. Oh, Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. You are extremely important. More important than I thought, really. Du darfst die Hoffnung niemals verlieren. Ja, yeah, of course not. Because then all the plans would not work. Mm. Okay, and that is when she ripped out the last pages. Okay, crazy. So that was really the, f the first time he came back. Crazy. I thought he would, would was out there earlier. Oh my god, this is all coming together so nice. Really incredible how they did all of this. I have to really um, applaud the writers of this. Because to manage this, that this, is, uh, this comes all full circle, <laughs> no pun intended, um, is really remarkable. Remarkable writing, remarkable planning, really. Now the only thing missing is the great finale, the grand finale, with an ending that satisfies, satisfies us. I mean, now we know how everything is connected, so that is clear. Now we only need this one line <laughs> going away from it all to mark the ending. Okay, every dot is connected in our world. So what are the others going to say about it? Sie sind schuld daran, dass das alles überhaupt passiert. Nein. Sie sind das Licht. <laughs> yes, of course. And the other side. They are the shadow. <laughs> er zeichnet uns. Unser Leben lang. Du und ich. Wir teilen diesen Schmerz. Wir tragen die gleichen Narben. Oh, that is how she got that scar. Nice, cool. I thought that uh, was a scar that she got from the from the thing that Adam did to her, but no. But I mean, why would why would Marta be you know working for them or with them? Only because she cut her. Okay, okay, okay. Now show us what happened here. Oh, 
Okay. She's just gone. But yeah, you're still there, Adam. <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that did not work as expected. You're still there. Winden is still there. The power plant is still there. Yeah. Hello, Jonas. Claudia, you old devil. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. All right, so that was the seventh episode of the third season of Dark, the second to last episode. And this episode, of course, used its time to explain us how things are connected, how people became what they eventually ended up to be. We saw the different characters going through several stations in their life, people coming to different timelines and doing stuff, and we now have a very good picture we have this uh, very well designed explanation how all these people ended up where they ended up how they became who they are what they did why they did it and you know it's just as i said it is just a very well-rounded thing the writing is very very good extremely well done basically everything was explained very nicely we now have this very nice circle everything came full circle in our world at least you know we don't know exactly about the mirror world but that is i guess secondary because uh, we we followed our world for most of the time and that is the important thing you know people like noah people like celia elizabeth bartosz Jonas, Hannah, um, yeah, Claudia and all of this, this is the important thing and they showed this very beautifully in my opinion at least and uh, yeah, for me personally the writing here is um, yeah, just perfect, I don't see any any weaknesses here at least in the, the stories of our characters, how they got where they are and stuff, yeah, but the most important thing for us going forward because most of the things were just you know for us explained to us to understand what is behind us but the most important thing going forward is obviously claudia claudia went against both of them went against jonas adam and marta eva killed the claudia from the mirror world and then you know impersonated her in Eva's world and so she basically played both sides and she is the third party here which yeah makes her basically the snake in the garden of Eden with Eva and Adam and now the snake Claudia there and she obviously appeared after yeah after Marta vanished after the plan did not work by Adam yeah, and now we have to see what exactly is the meaning of this. Does she know more about this? Is this exactly what she wanted? Is this maybe her paradise? Is this her endgame? Is paradise going to happen because she wants it to happen? Or because she planned it? You know, because it's either Adam or Eva. And both times it's either the eternal pain of Eva or it is the end of everything by Adam. Maybe... Claudia is exactly the middle road and uh, everything's going to be fine. You know, happy ending. Uh, exactly the thing that we would expect from a show like Dark. Huh? Well, I don't know, but this is certainly a good build up for the last episode. You know, to tie everything in a nice bow, then uh, throw the package away and look forward to the big finale um yeah and i am so hyped so excited for this and i'm just going to jump right into the next episode obviously um so yeah i am just very much hyped this episode was great to understand everything and the montage that showed everything you know how it was connected and everything happening that was just goosebump inducing once again here and yeah just a great great episode and a great preseason finale to put it like this and uh, yeah just amazing but yeah that was my reaction to the seventh episode of the third season of dark hope you liked it of course if you liked it give me a thumbs up 
comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. Also, if you like, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. And uh, yeah, apart from that, I can only say have a nice day, stay safe, and I see you in the next video.